Hello everyone and welcome today. Today we are going to be one of the biggest uh, events of the year. So today we have the International Expedition of Robotics uh, for the year 2023. So this is the biggest uh, robot expedition in Japan and it's been held here in Japan every once every two years. So today we are going to visit uh, this expedition to see the latest development in the robotics field. So mostly the advantage of this expedition that the biggest companies in the robot field, they mostly come here and participate in this expedition and present the latest technology. So today we are going to see what are the latest technology in the field. So let's go and see. There were many companies participating in uh, this expedition, presenting like uh, their uh, robot technology. So most of the companies actually are producing like industrial robot uh, manipulators that are being used for uh, different manufacturing process. So generally, or mostly, of those robots are being used for electronics industry and also the automotive industry. So those are the biggest uh, two sectors that are using industrial robot. And most of the companies are uh, from Japan, especially like, uh, like Fano, Kawasaki, or Yaskawa. They are like Japanese companies. And there are very few European companies. So actually, this uh, Kuka is uh, from Germany. And they are having one technology that they put in the robot on a slider that can be placed on the top. So it can give a clear uh, space on the ground. And uh, Yaskawa actually had produced the biggest uh, SCARA robot. So this is actually a SCARA robot design produced by Yaskawa and it's the biggest one in the industry. Almost can lift to one ton, so 1,000 kilogram. It's produced by Yaskawa. And actually Yaskawa is the second largest uh, industrial robot manufacturer after Hanok. They are having different type of uh, robot manipulator, maybe for uh, like uh, automotive industry, and they have like uh, produce actually like their own robot using like robot manipulator. So robots are manufacturing other robots, which is quite interesting <laughs> techniques being built by Yaskawa. And I have seen like there is a lot of companies that are producing Cobot. So Cobot is a very effective robot system because it's very safe. And actually it's very safe like when we have a uh, multiple robot working together. So those are four uh, Cobots are working in a class together, which is a very effective uh, method. And Cobot actually has uh, been uh, very effective in designing and like new type of application that requires a collaboration between a human and a robot, which is a quite if, uh, effective. So like uh, this is a robot developed by Denso, which uh, can be controlled by the human command. So just only voice command. The worker can use voice command and he can instruct the robot to do a, a certain task. So this becomes like an assistant to the human worker. So now this kind of task actually cannot be done by the robot alone and by a human it would be very like uh, very difficult for one worker. But when we have a collaboration between human and robot, we can improve the work efficiency. And actually then so this year I have developed new type of uh, cobot, which is much bigger than the one they had in the past. So they used to have one small robot but uh, this year they are presenting new type of robot which are much larger and could be used for much complex tasks not like the one before. 
And actually, not, not, not just only Denso is uh, developing uh, Cobot. Actually, I've seen different companies are developing Cobots in this expedition. So, this is actually one company from Germany. They actually develop also a very effective Cobot system. So, even like for tasks that they require this kind of uh, moving objects or maybe assembling objects, you can easily assemble the object without even breaking it. And actually the same company, uh, the, the manipulator actually is 7 axis, the 7 degrees of freedom, which gives them more flexibility in motion, especially in narrow area. So this manipulator can move easily inside narrow area, should be effective in some tasks. In addition to Cobalt, actually, there is also the implementation of a vision system because the vision system now have developed uh, a lot of robot system. Now with a simple camera and the AI system, you can maybe analyze a different type of object. So now like this uh, vision system can analyze different type of objects and with the help of a robot manipulator, it can easily pick up objects after it analyzes the picture. So we are seeing like now a lot of implementation in the vision system because like with this vision system you can easily identify the location of the boxes or the object that the robot have to lift. So this kind of system is very effective in logistic services. The robot can identify the location of the box and it can pick it up. And this uh, kind of uh, technology now is being used to develop new type of application that the robot can go inside the truck and offload the packages. This is actually a very effective system. This is one like developed by Kawasaki. They actually introduced it in their last expedition last year. It's a kind of uh, robot manipulator placed on a mobile base. And it can go inside the truck and can load the boxes in series or it can offload the boxes from the truck inside. So this is a very effective system. Actually, it's not just uh, Kawasaki, actually, they are another company. They produce a different type of a design for like uh, offloading boxes from, from inside the truck. So, this actually is not a robot arm, but actually, they have some kind of uh, moving belt itself. It can move to the location of the box and with uh, some kind of a gripper, it can take the box directly to the is a belt moving belt it's a very effective system so this is a different type of uh, almost <laughs> new innovation I, I have never seen this such kind of a design so this company they produce this kind of uh, system to offload the boxes in a very easy and fast way so it's different from the robot manipulator which required a lot of joint but this one actually is a very simple mechanism and offload very fast. And there are actually like uh, some other uh, innovation that have been presented in this experience, like this, uh, uh, ro uh, like uh, a waterproof uh, robot manipula manipulator designed by a Chinese company. So you can maybe now like used for some tasks that requires handling material inside the water and even there's some de new development for like logistic services like, uh, it's kind of very simple robot system and also there is uh, some improvement in the hospitality robot like robot used for uh, restaurant and cafes and also there's some advancement in the uh, equipment robot with the implementation of uh, AI system. So those are the development, the new development in IREX for this year. Now actually I have completed uh, the visit and almost I came here for the last three days and uh, I've seen like a lot of uh, companies participating in uh, this expedition, like presenting the latest technology, different type of robot system, uh, practically speaking, like I didn't see any kind of that much development from the last expedition in 
2022 in May, so it, maybe less than two years. So I don't see that much development in the robotic field. The only thing that was clear for me is the, is the focusing on the development of cobot. So many companies now actually are now developing cobots, even like the traditional companies like uh, like I saw Yamaha, like most of the customers is very old, and uh, many companies like Denso they are developing a lot of type new like collaborative robots. I think they are many focused now in the development of robots because they are trying to have new type of application. Because traditional robots have very limited maybe application, maybe related to the electronics and automotive industry, but the use of cobot maybe give us new type of application. You can perform new type of tasks, especially when you have a collaboration between human and robots. So that's why I think when it comes now, I'm trying to focus on the development of cobots. And also, the, I've seen like a lot of implementation in the video system. So like companies now actually, with the use of video system, you can advance your robot uh, performance. You can maybe <laughs> like, especially like you can pick up things, especially now with the use of AI, like especially like sorting, they pick up I define things with the use of AI. Maybe you can expand the application of the like uh, robot application in different type of tasks and different type of application. But uh, so far, I didn't see any development. I think because now companies are maybe trying to focus more in the <laughs> entering marketing more and enter into the market because previous, especially after COVID, many companies that they work very hard to have new, new type of application, new type of like uh, system a new type of innovation because the demands just jump very high for automation or optimization. But I think now companies are trying maybe slowing down and maybe focusing more in the uh, marketing because the number of uh, robots implemented in the market in the last two years have increased rapidly in the last two years. I think there is a more demand for robot technology and I think the companies now are trying to maybe market their uh, new robot and new technology. If you want to take a look at my uh, last visit and in the last year, maybe so you can check the video that shows the report about my last visit in the year 2022. Let's see you again. Thank you for watching.